How's it going everybody? This is Ruby and this is episode 54 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the gas turbine from Greg Tech. Now what the gas turbine does is that it, it only has two recipes. One is to take hydrogen and then it then takes that and converts it to EU. Like we see here hydrogen produces 15,000 EU. The next is methane which produces 45,000 EU. Now this is all at, I believe, about 16 EU per tick or something of that sort. If we take a look at the machine itself, you can see EU per packet, which isn't exactly the same as EU per tick, um, but it's pretty close. So you'll want to use like copper cable and bat boxes and such. So if we go ahead and take a look at the building recipes, there's two different ones. There's one for Envar and one for aluminum. Minus that, they both call for a advanced circuit, a reinforced glass, and then two windmills, and then of course either four Envar or four aluminum. So to kind of get the gas turbine going, you're going to want to either grab a hydrogen or a methane cell. To just manually input uh, items into it, you're just going to drop an item into the end. It's then going to empty it into its internal storage and it give you the empty cell back. You could do the same with the hydrogen. However, since this internal storage already has methane within it, it won't empty the hydrogen into there. It's got to wait for this to completely empty out until it processes the hydrogen. So if we go ahead and take a look at the automation for this machine, the top is going to be your input for stuff. So if we grab this hydrogen back and we throw that hydrogen cell up there, and then let's grab a bat box and a copper cable Oops, like so you can see that it went ahead and emptied out into the internal storage and you can see that it's powering up this bat box the side is going to be your output for your empty cells so that they don't stack up here and uh, stop your machine from processing while automating everything with cells is cool and all if you want to be able to just bring liquid directly into your turbine you're going to want to grab either or methane or hydrogen. You're going to want to automate this into your liquid transposer. And we're going to set this to the bucket empty slot. So normally it just has a filled bucket like so. But you're going to want to flip that and you're going to want to set your yellow output to come out the side or whatever side you need to do. I use liquid ducts here. You can use waterproof pipes if you'd like. So I just have it wrenched out and then I have the lever flipped. So let's give us another one so we can actually see it process because it looks pretty cool. So let's just throw another one in there. And then as you can see, there's all the gaseous methane coming over here into the gas turbine. Now I'm going to assume it's all like all of the other machines. I haven't personally tested it, but we always can. So if we throw a bunch of methane cells in here, this should fill up at around 10 buckets. So. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I, I believe what else is that? I think deuterium uh, can go into the gaseous state and be all red like that. So we should see it fill up here pretty soon. So you can see there, it fills up at 10 buckets, or yeah, 10 buckets, which is 10,000 units. To pick up the gas turbine, you're going to want to use an electric wrench or any of the wrenches that you prefer. I just prefer a electric wrench because I know it'll always work. You're going to want to hold down your mode key and then right click, make sure it's in lossless wrench mode. And then you can just right click the gas turbine and pick it up. That's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below or send me a private message on YouTube. I read all my comments and all my messages, so I will get to your question. If this video helps you out or if you enjoyed it, a rating would be much appreciated. And subscribe, as I always have new Feed the Beast videos coming out almost every other day, if not every day. Thank you.